All right, welcome back everybody. If you clicked on this video, chances are you are looking for brand new construction for sale in Dr. Phillips, Florida. Lucky for you, I'm in the only community that has any inventory available. So I'm gonna show you my top three floor plans that are probably gonna be suitable for you guys if you have a family. We're not only two minutes from Old Town West, which is a really, really large and brand new shopping center over here. And last but not least, I'm gonna make sure to go over in depth just what makes this an amazing location to not only purchase a home in, but to raise your family. So stay tuned, make sure you like, subscribe. So let's get into it. I'm gonna take this camera, we're gonna start this video, come on. Behind me is the actual Roseland model. Now I've encountered this home quite a few times, not in this community specifically, but that's kind of why I wanted to make a video going in really, really good detail regarding all the ins and outs of this home. First things first, I'm gonna pop up all the actual frontal elevations because you can have a more modern design. I know the porch for you guys is a must, but again, you can change the exterior styling and let's get into the actual tour of this home. I know you see two double doors. This actually comes standard, a single door. This is an option just off the bat before we go inside. To the right is the garage, three car, but it's a sales office. So I want you guys to take a look at all the finishes that this home has to offer. I know I've done videos of super, super grand homes before. This is one of those. If you guys remember the expiry tour that we did, um, it's very, very similar, open to below and grand. So we'll start here. Really, really nice, big plank vinyl flooring. We have an office here with these double doors. This is actually configurable to be made a fifth bedroom. Personally, I would probably leave it the way it is unless you absolutely needed the space. Um, keep in mind, this home is 4,200 square feet the way it is standard. It's a four bedroom, three bath. However, be it that it's a model home, they kind of pulled out all the stops and all the options. And I like that because I can actually break down the difference between what you see here and what you can actually possibly build. So let's get started as well. So like I mentioned, I know you guys see this wide open, but again, this is gonna be the garage. We're gonna move on to the rest of the home. Remember, everything you're seeing for the most part is a design because it's a model home. A majority of the little trinkets, like the wood trim on the top, um, all the fixtures, all the side paneling, the accent walls and everything, it's not gonna actually come with the home. Picture this bare, but again, I wanna show you guys this model so you can kind of get a good idea as to what this would be fully furnished. I'm not gonna show you the main, main feature of the home yet. We're gonna go to the butler's pantry first. To the right is gonna be your regular pantry. Really, really, really good space. And guys, keep in mind, I'm showing this grand home simply for the fact that in this area of Dr. Phillips, you can't get anything else brand new. Lovely, lovely open to below. If you guys watched the Griffin model, the Duval model that I did, I know you guys love these homes that have this grand appeal. I just decided to bring a more luxury touch to uh, the tour here, guys. So really nice catwalk. This can be a need wall. However, keep the railing 100%. We're gonna move on to the kitchen here. This is a standard gourmet package. I love the fact that the countertop is not only super, super huge with the cords, but it's facing the correct way as you're gonna be out looking where the TV is, your outdoor space, your, your lanai back there. And let's get into some options and configurations that you can actually do. I'm gonna make sure that I pop up the dimensions of each and every bedroom as well on the video so you guys can get a good idea. Let's get into configurations. This little nook here can actually be converted to a wine cellar. So the way you see is similar to the expert model. You'll have that nice showcase as to where if you're an avid wine collector, really, really nice showcase piece for anybody entering your home. Um, and then this little storage space would actually be flipped to the other side where you'll have a more traditional Harry Potter room underneath the stairs. Remember, everything you're seeing is an upgrade. So all these little speckles, everything you see is after the fact for design. This is a very beautiful home with a huge loft upstairs. Let's keep the video organized. I'm just super excited to show you this, guys. Everything about this home just screams a good use of space for me. Here, you'll have your cafe nook. And this flows really, really nicely with your actual outside patio and lanai. These, of course, extend all the way, which I'll actually give you guys a good look at that. And back here, again, you have a plethora of options regarding summer kitchen, stub outs, pools. Uh, specifically in this community, you know, um, it is pretty pricey. It is Dr. Phillips, but again, I figured it'd be a good idea for me to come out here and show you guys kind of a last peek of the actual inventory here. Um, summer kitchen stub outs again, 
This is actually the extended lanai as well. It's another option uh, that's on the feature list. Well, guys, it looks like I broke this. I'm gonna have to just it open for now. Now, before we head upstairs, I'm actually gonna show you what else is down here. This is a really, really nice feature that I'm absolutely in love with. You have a multi-generational suite down here. So if you have family that needs their own private space, this is absolutely perfect. And again, it is an option. I wanna be clear to you guys that a majority of the things that you see here are gonna be options. If you want info regarding what sorts of pricing these options are actually gonna cost you, make sure you click the link below and I would definitely be excited to provide you guys that info. Tiling all the way to the ceiling, frameless shower door. I love it. Truthfully, this home is everything. I personally think it's a little expensive, but again, you're not necessarily paying that uh, price tag for the home itself, it's mainly for the area. So again, this would be your access to the future. It's a three car garage. Again, it'll be very, very detailed. This is what I was mentioning. This would be a lot larger if you were to add that actual true wine cellar. So now let's take a look upstairs again. You pretty much have two ceiling height. This is actually an option that I would make sure to actually pick. I love the fact that the stairs get more wide as they get to the bottom. It really, really adds to the grand look of absolutely everything. You have a nice catwalk on the second floor as well. Um, keep in mind, when it comes to trying to purchase homes in these sorts of communities, the number one thing is having a good relationship with the sales rep, which I'm here in advance to get all the info, make sure I establish myself with them. So should you guys, should anybody reach out from this video, at least you know that I have all the info and you're gonna be taken care of. Let's take a look at this view from up here. This home is absolutely beautiful. We have a few options as far as where we're gonna go first because this home is so, so big. Um, we'll start here though, because this is actually one of the nicer features of this home. Double doors once again. You thought this was a loft, it's not. This is an extended seating area to your main bedroom. In one master bedroom, you have all of this, which is absolutely ludicrous to me. <laughs> I absolutely love the big pane window here. All the natural light you could possibly ever need, honestly, is flowing through this home as we speak. This is actually what I would call a seating area, but this builder decided to do one more. You have two seating areas, which I absolutely love, and then we're gonna come into the main bathroom. There's no options selectable for here, but at least you have the his and hers vanity, side by side, tub in the middle, with your very, very nice shower, and we're gonna go visit both of those closets. I believe this is the closet more suitable for the women, because it's bigger. <laughs> versus the one on the other side is just a tad bit smaller. However, the idea that I have is you could potentially knock down that wall and join them together and just have one, one, and just have one huge closet. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, again, this is the Roseland model. Very, very luxurious. Besides the finishes and everything, the options and just the floor plan in general is really what does it. Super, super tall doors. And this is actually gonna be the Jack and Jill. Now, one of my clients previously wanted to purchase this home. One gripe that we had with this builder regarding the actual options is my client did not like the fact that you cannot enclose this. Um, it's just not an option. You kind of have to have it half wall. Of course, this is nothing that can't be done after the fact, but you know, you're gonna kind of be looking at the sink while you're laying in bed. At least they do have separation where the toilet is, but again, let me know what you guys think. Is it really a big deal or could you guys make it work? Uh, this is a true Jack and Jill though. Really, really nice space. And again, the pop is for the dimension should be coming here every time I walk into a bedroom. Through here is your Lennox HVAC. I know a lot of you people like Carrier, however, the problems that Linux used to have in the past, they actually repaired, they fixed, they updated. So now all of these builders that used to shift away from Linux and go to Carrier, they started to trust them a little bit more again. This is gonna be your laundry room. Cabinetry, you get the sink, the utility sink, you get the cabinets, and you get the countertop down here, absolutely amazing. And one more open to below, which is gonna be overlooking the foyer. We covered pretty much everything up here. This is the last surprise that I have for you guys. 
when you go through here, we have another sort of ensuite because it does have its own full bath as well as a walk-in closet. So this one is not as big, but again, this is more of an ensuite type of thing. You go in here to the left, again, tiled all the way up nicely. I would have preferred if it was like a, you know, frame here, but again, curtains, it's fine. Spending a million plus dollars, you would assume you don't have to put any curtains anywhere, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Pricing, again, I will make sure to mention in the description of this video, guys, the channel is growing. Um, again, I'm going to be posting a lot higher quality content regarding homes. So this was kind of just a test run for this luxurious uh, listing here for this luxurious model home here. Um, let me know any tips that you guys would give me. If I missed anything, I would love to hear the feedback from you guys. And of course, as always, if you're interested in this floor plan or Dr. Phillips in general, remember it's very limited inventory as far as no construction. However, that shouldn't stop you from still achieving the dreams of living where you want. There's plenty of resale homes that are really, really beautiful really good condition and hardly lived in so if you're interested in maybe inventory a year two years old you can save some money right and still get a really really nice floor plan like this make sure you reach out to me brandon polito i'm a realtor with the prasad group in orlando florida based out of claremont and i decided to take a little drive today come to dr phillips to show you guys this beautiful beautiful floor plan um again i don't think i missed anything we went outside we went through absolutely everything and again if you guys want a separate breakdown just regarding the actual finishes, in my opinion, on Pulte Homes as a whole builder in general, materials they use, make sure you let me know. I love the vented hood. God bless you guys and I'm out.